Every morning, in cities across Italy, people pack the counters of tiny espresso bars, calling out their orders. The beans are ground fresh, then aerated, leveled, tamped, and polished. Then, the portafilter is pushed into position and locked into place. One or two tiny white ceramic cups are placed beneath the spouts, and the machine is turned on. You can hear and feel the machine pressurize as the water starts to pump its way through the coffee puck just the right amount into the cups. Cups to the bar, down the hatch, grazie. Is this ritual? Yes. Is it art? Sure. But it's also physics and math. Every variable that baristas obsess over, the grind size, the tamping pressure, the flow rate, the temperature, isn't just craft, it's control over a remarkably complex physical system. Inside the portafilter, water doesn't simply pass through coffee, it infiltrates, dissolves, diffuses, and extracts. Solubles move from the interior into the liquid. Pressure gradients evolve second by second, and an entire landscape of chemistry unfolds. And all of this is surprisingly, even today, hard to model. How exactly water seeps into the dry grounds, how the gases trapped inside are pushed out, how the first pockets of liquid form and start carrying dissolved coffee forward, and how that flow front moves and changes as pressure builds. That's exactly the kind of model the authors of this paper are trying to build. An attempt to model the filtration and extraction process inside the puck in a way that's mathematically rigorous, but physically realistic. If you're already a member of Journal Club, you just got access to this episode. Log in and watch it anytime. See you there.